What if you want to add a subwoofer into the vehicle, you have room for one sub and say a five to a thousand watt amplifier. You know, something that's not going to stress out the factory system. Are you going to have something like this, a round sub? Or do you think you're going to go to something like this, a square sub? Now I've chose both these woofers because I'm going to show you over here, the specs are almost identical, but which one will give you the most output, give you the most base, so round or square? That's the biggest question. Now, why would engineers want to do this idea? Well, if you think about it, a square has more square area than a circle, roughly 20% more. All right, I'm gonna slide over for a difference. Over here, you're gonna see the X Max, the SD, the power handling, and the sensitivity. Why I chose these two offers. So I chose a 551244 from MTX and S6512244 from MDX. Obviously, one is round, one of the S is square. Now, over here, though, what I want you to notice right away is that the X Max is essentially the same. Also, you look at the SD. Sorry, guys, I wrote it down. Is 87 to 113. So that's how much area the cone has. So like I'm saying, the circle is this much, the square has this much. And why I'm using this as an example is that you are roughly 20% more. So it's going to move more air. But why I wanted to use this woofer was you'll see the X max and the X max is how far the woofer moves in and out. So you'll see they're virtually the same. Power handling is a little bit more, I will give you that, but also the sensitivity. You'll also see one is 84 and one's 86. So that's 2 dB roughly louder. So if all things are equal, if I was going to throw 500 watts at this, you would be 2 dB louder by having the square one, plus you got 20% more square area with the same movement. So also keep that in mind. 